Christmas Eve had arrived on Sodor, and all the engines were preparing for the festive holiday. All except Thomas, who stayed in his shed while the other engines had went to a Christmas party at Knapford. He sat there by himself. No driver, no fireman, nothing around him but himself and his thoughts. Christmas isn't the same without Mrs. Kindly, he thought to himself. It wouldn't be right to celebrate it when she's gone. Napford Station looked beautiful. The sunset shined down onto the white snow just outside the station. And lights were streamed everywhere with a Christmas tree and Christmas wreaths. Percy, however, was worried about Thomas. I sure hope he changes his mind, Percy said worriedly. Time had passed. The sun had fully set. And the snow began to fall. And Thomas was fully asleep until... The door creaked open, and Thomas opened his eyes. There before him was a young woman with brown hair. She smiled up at Thomas. Merry Christmas, she said kindly. Thomas was surprised. What are you doing here, he asked curiously. I'm here to wish you a Merry Christmas, she replied kindly. Thomas frowned and looked away. I'm not celebrating, he grumbled. The woman looked surprised. Why not, she gasped. You can't just sit here all by yourself on Christmas. Somebody I cared about is gone, said Thomas sadly. I won't be able to spend Christmas with her this year, or any other year. The woman looked silently up at Thomas before placing her hand on his left buffer. When I was a little girl, she began softly. I lost my grandpa on Thanksgiving. He was gone in one day. He always brought a smile everywhere he went. And we never thought we'd be able to celebrate Christmas without that smile. But we tried anyway. And we realized something. We were happy with each other. And kept each other company. We still all had smiles. And we all had a great time. She then smiled to Thomas. There will be people that we could lose by the next year. But I've learned... That Christmas is about spending it with those you love while you still can. And even if they pass away, they will always be with you. No matter what. That's why it's the Christmas spirit. Thomas was given a lot to think about. But his thoughts were then interrupted as he rubbed his face. I must get going now. Merry Christmas. What's your name? Thomas smiled warmly. It's Thomas! What's yours? She smiled warmly in return. Thomas, such a wonderful name. My name is Kitty. Kitty Kindly. She then began walking away, leaving Thomas to the sudden realization. Mrs. Kindly? Wait! Don't go! Mrs. Kindly! Thomas? Thomas awoke. A voice was calling out to him. It was his driver, along with his fireman. Hello, Thomas. We came to wish our favorite engine a Merry Christmas. Even if he is keeping himself cooped up in the sheds. Would you like to get warmed up? It's cold out here. Thomas didn't respond for a moment remaining silent before looking to his driver. Driver, it's not too late for the Christmas party, is it? The driver looked surprised. No, it isn't. Why do you ask? I would like to go, if you could take me, sir. I want to celebrate Christmas with all my friends, with everyone I care about. That's what I like to hear, boomed a familiar voice from outside the shed was none other than the fat controller. 
I had a hunch you'd change your mind after all. So I came to assign a special task just for you. You are to go to Titmuth Station to pick up the Kindlies and take them to the big station for the party. We won't start without our number one engine. Thomas beamed. Oh, thank you, sir! Soon, Thomas' firebox grew bright. And Thomas had plenty of steam. He left the sheds and collected Annie and Clarabelle. Come along, come along, he chuffed excitedly. Annie and Clarabelle were pleased. There's a party, there's a party, they both sang happily. Thomas was greeted by the kindlies at Tidmouth Station. They were very happy to see their favorite tank engine. They boarded the coaches, and they were soon off to Napford. The night was cold, and the snow fell as Thomas plowed away with a snowplow. But Thomas wasn't bothered by a snowplow, nor did he even feel cold. His fire was the same as always, as was his steam. Thomas felt warmer than he had in weeks. <coughs> Everyone cheered when they saw Thomas arrive at the platform with the islands. The party began. There was Carolyn. James, and even a Santa, who was secretly Sir Topham Hatt. Everyone had a fascinating night, and Thomas was happy he came. For a moment, Thomas looked to the edge of the platform. It could have sworn he saw Mrs. Kindly before she disappeared. But all Thomas did was smile. Merry Christmas, Mrs. Kindly. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish you a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year.